Okay, joining us now on the program for more information on this event in partnership with West Bloomfield Parks and the West Bloomfield Library is the library's community engagement librarian, Emily Tobin. Emily, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Happy to have you on to talk about the grand opening of the Storybook Trail. And we know that there are trails at West Bloomfield Town Hall. Maybe some don't know about that, and this is the first time they're hearing about it. But the Storybook Trail is going to be undergoing a grand opening. Tell us first about the trail, what people should know about uh, this, new, this new or updated amenity at Town Hall. So, um, like you said, many people may not know about um, the trail that runs behind the library. So it does have a trailhead that starts kind of by Parks and Rec. Um, the storybook trail will start um, off of the youth terrace um, in our kind of backyard. And then there's like kind of a cut through path and it um, follows the trail back um, through and then comes up the sled hill and puts you back out into that back parking lot by um, the township hall. Um, it's not a very long path. I think it's like a quarter mile. So if you have a if you have a little kiddo, it's perfect um, for a short attention span. And the goal is really um, to promote early literacy and to get um, families out in nature. And, and and so as people go out on this portion of the trail, it's a different section. It's going to be a specially marked section of the trail uh, that will be known as the Storybook Trail. What will they experience on that that is going to be you know, sort of different or stand out from the other trails at Town Hall? So they are marked, so they're they're big marked um, basically storybooks. They're, they're, you can see them now out there. There's just nothing in them. Um, so they will have a large um, page from a storybook on them. Um, and you they're numbered so you can follow along um, to the next page. And at the bottom of each one, there's an activity or a question to keep um, the children and families engaged, to keep them motivated, to keep going to the end. And so ultimately, this is the partnership between the library and, of course, with Parks and Rec managing the trail out there. What was the inspiration, Emily, behind creating this new section of trail at the, at the town hall complex? So many libraries have done storybook trails. And for us, I think it's just um, it's so easy because it, the trail is right there. And obviously, West Bloomfield has many um, local trails. But this one we are fortunate enough to have in our backyard in the backyard of the library and parks. Um, and we do so much programming at the library and parks does so many so much programming with little hikers and nature walks um, that we can both utilize um, the trail for programming. And a lot of people walk that trail with their dogs um, after they come to the library with their kids. If they're looking for something to do before nap time or lunch time, they can take a walk on the trail and it gives parents another activity to be able to do besides just coming to the library or going to a program at parks. It kind of fills up their day and it, it's a natural, natural place for it to be. More information can be found on WBLIB.org, and you can register for the Storybook Trail grand opening on WBParks.org. With us on the Splash Live, community engagement librarian at the West Bloomfield Township Public Library, Emily Tobin. This is grand opening event Saturday, September 21st from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m at the main library and, and part of this is of course going to be going out on the trail and exploring this new section of, of, of the trail network at West Bloomfield Town Hall, Emily, but also you're going to have a, an author and a Michigander, Deb Paludi, will be here at, at, the, at the event with her new book, The Dinosaur in the Garden. So why this book for this grand opening? So Deb Paludi is a Michigander. Um, she is a best-selling children's author um, and this one I think is a perfect book for the both of us because um, number one, kids love dinosaurs, and number two, he's in the garden, which is perfect for us and for parks. So it gives us um, the nature theme and it gives dinos um, for the kids to, to interact with as well. So she will be here um, doing a story time. Um, the naturalists will do a hike and um, Deb will also be signing and um, drawing dinos with the kids. And all that Saturday, September 21st at the library. You can register for the event to attend as we speak, wbparks.org. And, of course, keep up to date on everything happening at the library on Facebook at West Bloom LIB. In terms of future programming, Emily, how, how can the library utilize the storybook trail to, like you said, get kids and get families more engaged in reading and learning all throughout the year? So I we are, we're going to do... Um, 
this Halloween, a uh, Halloween storybook stroll. So there'll be a Halloween story and kids can collect their treats along the way. Um, I know Parks is planning some in the spring. We'll partner with them to do specific books for like their winter solstice or the pollinator festival so that they can utilize that trail as well to do specific programming around their larger events. And then of course, um, for summer reading, we do a, obviously a lot of program for, programming for summer reading and we can plan um, larger hikes around that as well. Um, when we do our big kickoff, we can do a walk as well on that storybook trail. Emily Tobin is with us from the West Bloomfield Township Public Library. Their Storybook Trail Grand Opening in partnership with West Bloomfield Parks Saturday, September 21st from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure to mark your calendars and get on out there to explore the new Storybook Trail. Uh, Michigan author and learn more from West Bloomfield Parks and our local library. In terms of community feedback, how did that play into forming this new storybook trail with West Bloomfield Parks and ultimately bringing this grand opening event to us in September. So this has been a long time coming. I've been at the library for almost two years and we, we have been talking about it since I've been here. Last year we did a temporary story walk out there on like the yard signs. Um, and that got a lot of great feedback from patrons that, you know, had kids and were looking for something else to do. Um, and we, we, I did a lot of work with Lauren over at Parks to plan out where the post would go on the trail. Um, so we, we have worked together a lot um, over the last year to get this up and running and we're very excited to finally see it come to fruition. More information on this on West Bloom LIB on Facebook or WB Parks on Facebook as well as you get ready for this event coming up on Saturday, September 21st. Emily, before we let you go, anything else that people should know about the Storybook Trail or what they can look out for out on the trail in the coming months? So um, the goal is to have a new story every month. Um, there will be a story out there before the grand opening. Um, I'm just waiting for some some final um, pages, but there hopefully within the next week or so, there will be a story out there. So if you wanna get a little preview, you can you can go back there and take a walk. Um, but other than that, um, obviously it's a, it's a free event. We welcome you to come and we, you know, we hope to see you there. A great way to get people out and about in our community as we wrap up the summer, get into the fall, and have plenty of opportunities to learn both inside and outside of the library and the Recreation Activity Center. Emily, thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you. Have a great day.